guys welcome back to Kali J's kitchen today I'll take you back in the kitchen with me and I'll show you how I prepared my Jamaican stew peas don't forget to subscribe to my channel like share and comment and tell a friend to tell another friend about Kali J's kitchen you can also follow me on Facebook it's Kali J's kitchen follow me on Instagram it's Kali kitchen underscore one and go ahead and turn on that post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video so here I have my peas so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add four cups of water. I'm also going to add some garlic. And I'm also going to go ahead and add my corned beef that I'm going to use in my stew peas. And please note that I went ahead and boiled my corned beef three times just to remove the excess salt. So I'm just going to go ahead and pressure this now, both the corned beef and the peas, for roughly 20 to 25 minutes. And I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. Alright guys, so after 20 to 25 minutes, this is what my peas are. And my corned beef looks like as you can see it's not too soft so it's time to go ahead and season up this now all right so I'm gonna go ahead and add some coconut milk powder now if you have real coconut milk you can go ahead and use that and also guys if you have the coconut milk powder you can go ahead and use that also all right Now I'm going to go ahead and add the seasoning which consists of the onion, the skelly and the garlic and also my bell peppers or scotch bonnet pepper, whichever you have. And I'm also going to make some spinners for my stew peas. Now guys, if you don't want to add the corned beef, you can go ahead and add pigtail or you can go ahead and use chicken or chicken food which one you whichever you prefer sorry and guys just a reminder try to use whatever you have at home so if you realize that you don't have any chicken you can go ahead and use something else all right always try to substitute remember guys cooking is easy cooking is fun always try to be creative as possible and again let's go over what i've said earlier I told you guys that the corned beef is a little bit salt, which they had to add salt to the corned beef just to preserve it. So I went ahead off camera and I boiled the corned beef, sorry, for three, three times just to remove the excess salt. Then I went ahead and pressured both the corned beef and the peas together, all right? So once I'm finished adding the spinners, it's time to just go ahead and combine everything together. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add some all-purpose seasoning with some parsley flakes and also some garlic powder. Then I'm just going to combine both the seasoning and, every, and the peas and the corned beef and the spinners together and all the other ingredients. And I'm going to leave this to cook down for roughly 10 minutes. Then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. Alright guys, so this is what my stew pea is starting to look like. As you can see, it's going on quite fine. So I'm just still going to leave this to cook down for some more minutes. And guys, just a reminder, I didn't add any cornstarch at all in my stew peas. I allow it to make its own gravy. So I'm almost finished. So this took me about 45 minutes. So I'm going to allow it to cook down some more. Then I'm going to come back and show you guys the final product. Alright? So guys, this is the final product of my Jamaican stew peas with corned beef. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys try this recipe and I hope you guys tell your friends, tell your family members about Kali J's Kitchen. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and see you tomorrow with another awesome video. Bye!